The Philippines, an archipelago of over 7,000 islands and home to 109 million people, has made huge gains in poverty reduction in the last decade. But the COVID-19 pandemic eroded some of those gains. ADB has been helping the country with its COVID-19 health and economic response, with total loans and grants of over $1.8 billion at the end of 2020. But for the country to fully exit from the pandemic, a nationwide vaccination program is key. In March 2021, ADB provided the Philippine government with a $400 million loan for the Health System Enhancement to Address and Limit COVID-19 project to help finance the country's purchases of COVID-19 vaccines. It was the first loan approved and disbursed under ADB's $9 billion Asia-Pacific Vaccine Access Facility. By the end of the year last year, the Philippine government have realized that in order to manage or control COVID, they need to vaccinate as many Filipinos the following year, 2021. COVAX was available for them, but they needed to supplement that. And so they started reaching out with vaccine manufacturers to explore bilateral deals. So they had this discussion. They reached out to us with ADB for financing. They reached out for us to help them as well for technical advice. At the same time, to make sure that they get value for money. The Philippines needed uh, to lock in supplies quickly, urgently, and advance payments were required to finance contracts. At that time, government rules did not provide the country with elbow room to negotiate contracts in a heavily supplier-driven COVID-19 vaccine market. The Philippines leverage on ADB's procurement framework, advice on procurement risk and supply contracts. As a result, the HEAL2 loan is financing two of the largest contracts with Pfizer and Sinovac. Together, these two contracts make up half of the 2021 vaccine supply for the country. Our support is not limited to securing vaccines. With technical assistance, we support the government on several fronts. We are helping the Department of Health and the National Task Force on COVID-19 in improving public communications on vaccines as well as health promotion strategies. Now we see the national survey shows an increase in vaccine acceptance along with the decline in vaccine hesitancy. ADB also provides vaccine logistics and supply chain experts to assist the government in vaccine supply planning and allocation. We provide the data management experts to support implement vaccine information management system. HEAL2 is also an effective gender mainstreaming project. The project supports the Department of Health to increase the vaccine access for marginalized women and those living in the most difficult remote areas and difficult circumstances. ADB also closely working with other development partners. AIIB co-financed for the HEAL2 with a 300 million loan. We have health partners meeting with AIIB, Australia's Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, UNICEF, USAID, WHO and the World Bank for coordination of our work on various aspects and stages of the Vaccine Law Act. We have two steps uh, going forward. Uh, as, as you know, um, our current loan of $400 million under the APVAT facility is now fully committed. Um, and we're almost fully dispersed, or we will be this year. The government's asked us to provide additional financing uh, of $250 million, and that will also be co-financed with AIIB. And this uh, additional financing will be used for procuring booster vaccines for delivery early next year. The second uh, aspect of this is our universal health care reforms. Uh, currently, we are preparing a policy-based loan called uh, Building Universal Healthcare, and that's going to the board for approval uh, in November of this year. And that's going to be focusing on 
policy reforms and institutional reforms to strengthen our health care delivery services in the Philippines and ensuring that all Filipinos get access to quality health care.